how to include domain specific knowledge in large language model is a question that a lot of people are trying to answer the latest paper from microsoft that says adapting large language models via reading comprehension is a new approach where it says that one first of all if you do continued pre training of large language models on domain specific corpora it might hurt the prompting ability of the large language model for question and answering i'll get in the detail about what is this so they are providing an alternative approach about in actually adding that imbibing that knowledge via something called reading comprehension and they're saying that they learned this from human beings about how human beings learn to start with there are three different ways first of all that a large language model might exist in its form uh, first of all what you are trying to do with a large language model is that you are trying to use large language model to capture the knowledge from the text corpora and then try to have it answer certain questions so the large language model can exist in three different forms one is the large language model in its native form like the vanilla form of large language model that has been trained from scratch on a mixture of domain specific and general corpora so while this is good it intuitively creates domain specific llms the data requirements for the domain specific knowledge is high and that's where the second technique comes in where you do fine tuning of the large language model using supervised data set but however there are a lot of uh, uncertainties about how much large language models can learn a domain knowledge a lot of people argue that large language model during a fine tuning process can learn the style more than actually gaining new knowledge and now there is a third option which is to prompt the large language model with retrieved domain knowledge very similar to rag retrieval augmented generation where you give an extra knowledge to the large language model and then query it so while you have these three different ways there has been another technique that has been popular that's called continued pre training on domain specific corpora it is also known as domain adaptive pre training or dapt d a p t now what dapt does is instead of fine tuning the existing large language model dapt takes the existing large language model and continues training on domain specific data alone so it takes the existing large language model llm and then it tries to continue the training with domain specific knowledge while this might sound like good and it is good for certain cases like fine tuning and knowledge probing but it actually hurts the prompting or the actual prompting using the dapt model the domain adaptive pre training model and that is something that you can actually see in this table if you see this particular table it has taken existing large language model that is a general large language model and it has done the domain adaptive uh, training of the large language model the pre trained model now if you see this model in, in its general form in three different domains one is the biomedical the finance and law if you see in general form the large language model the general large language model these are the scores in fact for the base prompting like just general prompting the general llm scores more than the dapt model and even for finance the general llm scores more than the dapt model and only for law the dapt model scores better on the other hand for fine tuning and knowledge probing the fine tuned or the or i shouldn't say fine tuning i'm sorry the dapt model does it better so while fine tuning and for knowledge probing the dapt model does better in the vanilla prompting the general llm does better indicating or validating the hypothesis that these um, authors have saying that it hurts the prompting when you do dapt which is the domain adaptive uh, training what what we just discussed the domain adaptive pre training model so now to avoid this what they are saying is that we are introducing a completely new concept that is called a reading comprehension so what you are going to do is you are going to ta take the large language model and instead of just doing a continuous training on the raw text you are going to turn the raw text into something called a reading comprehension so you are going to take the raw text and extract components from this like title domain keywords entitlement relation cause and effect semantic similarity text ending and you would convert that into a reading comprehension and this reading comprehension is what you're going to use for the continued pre training not just from the raw text but from this reading comprehension 
If you want to further dive deeper into the reading comprehension, the reading comprehension has got certain elements. One is summarization. The second is word to text, natural language inference, common sense reading, paraphrase detection and text completion. And you can go further and then see the details. You can see how the data from the raw text is translated into the template for this particular reading comprehension for summarization, word to text, natural language inference, common sense reasoning, paragraph direction, text completion. So what they are suggesting is that take the raw, the large language model, the general large language model, don't do DAPT, but rather do the training based on the reading comprehension data set that has been prepared from the raw text. And they're saying that this actually gives a much better result. And when you look into the result, now let's say that you have got a domain specific model in itself. You have got like mid alpaca and you've got a general model. So you've got like a specific model and you've got like a model like a general model. And this is the DAPT version of the same general model. And this is the ADAPT model, which is the adaptive learning based on the reading comprehension. So if you see this, for general prompting, it's prompting, it's not for fine tuning, it's not for knowledge probing. It's just for prompting the results. The adaptive LLM does better for domain specific task in most of the cases. You can see it does most of the cases. If you see finance as a domain, then if you take even a model like as big as Bloomberg six, six, GPT 50 billion parameter model, the 7 billion parameter model from ADAPT LLM, a 7 billion parameter model, does almost closer to this this particular model like you can see here it scored 43.4 and a benchmark called confin qa but the adapt llm 7 billion parameter model does closer to that on that particular benchmark much much better than a 50 billion not better than um much efficient than a 50 billion parameter model and if you go on and then see certain other cases you would actually see that if you see the overall average, this adapt LLM, which is once again, to be clear, it takes the vanilla or general large language model in this case, this one, and then it does the reading comprehension training, not the DAPT one. And it scores a really good score than the Bloomberg GPT 50 billion parameter model. And you would see a similar trend continuing with law as well. I'll uh, link the paper in the YouTube description for you to go through this benchmarks yourself. But the idea here is that that this model, like especially this particular more uh, technique of how you can take reading comprehension like this, like instead of training the model on the raw text, not not the first model, the second model, instead of doing continuous training on the raw text, you do continuous training or the training on reading comprehension proves to be effective, not just for prompting, but also when you look at other things, for example, it actually imbibes the domain knowledge in the large language model is what they're seeing. So the previous result we saw was for prompting results, which is like vanilla prompting, no fine tuning. But if you look at the fine tuning aspect as well, this model, the model that is with adaptive fine tuning, adaptive training, which is using the reading comprehension, the general model and versus the DAPT model. If you see, compare all these three, the reading comprehension, the model that has been trained on reading comprehension scores more than every other model in itself. And uh, while all these things are fine, the main fundamental of this is one important thing that they're saying is this. This has been as taken as an inspiration from human learning via reading comprehension because human beings, when they want to learn, they practice after reading the improves the ability to answer question based on the learned knowledge. So if you have uh, ever attended high school, so you would know that reading comprehension is one of the things that we have been given, like we'll be given like a very large paragraph and then we'll be given certain questions and then we'll be asked to answer based on that. And then we'll, this is how they used to teach. And the authors of this paper are saying that they took this inspiration from human beings and uh, how we learn and that's how this has been created. It's a very interesting approach to be honest, like um, how do we include domain knowledge in large language model is a question that everybody is trying to answer. And the most popular technique has been fine tuning, right? Um, you, you try to do fine tuning the model 
and uh, you also try to do with uh, retrieval augmented generation or knowledge probing and if you cannot do any of those things you would try to do only via prompting so what this paper is trying to say is one if you do dapt it might hurt the general prompting ability the second thing is you can teach the model with a slightly better way than simply using the raw text that might enrich the model's domain knowledge for general prompting and it might also help in fine tuning and also in knowledge probing this is a very interesting approach let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it see you in another video happy prompting